Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on Rasa Chatbot. Like in the last video, I have already shown you that how you can apply the synonyms and the regex function onto the Rasa Chatbot and accordingly how you can extract the entities and how you can accordingly couple them. So that's all that we have already seen in the previous videos. And in today's session, I'm going to show you that how you can apply the lookup table to make your conversation completely compact and accordingly you will be able to further extract more and more data with the help of that. So that's all that we will be covering in today's session. Now let's not waste time and let's straightforward go to the project and let's understand how to do that. So let's get started. All right, so this is a project which we have already covered in the previous video. And in our today's session, I will show you that how you can use the lookup table, but to understand like how the lookup table works. First of all, let's understand what exactly we will be uh, using the lookup table for. So right now, as you can see in the previous videos that we have already made a very small conversation where I was having a conversation in such a way that I will be initiating first, like I will say some greed, hello, hi or something. And based on that, your chatbot will tell you, or let's say your chatbot will ask you, Hey, how may I assist you? And you will say, I want to know my credit card account balance. So that is what you want to know. But, and based on that, your chatbot requires some information from your side so that it can help you to find the balance of your account. So that is what uh, your chatbot will expect you, right? So based on that, you will be providing some information and those informations are like, what is your account number? So you are providing the account number and you're getting the result. Now in this session, what exactly I want to do is, uh, let's say for the verification purpose, I want to make it in such a way that instead of only asking for the account number, I also want to ask my user that where are you from? Or let's say from which country you belongs to. So this is what I want to know. And you know that in this case, what happens is you have a country, you belong to some country, you belong to some nation. And based on that, there are many countries and it's not possible to pass the name of all the countries in the way we are expecting. For example, I can say India and I can say India, let's say I can write India in capital letters and I can write India in small letters as well. So now here what happens? So there are different ways to write the same thing, but I don't want to do the same thing. I don't want to write the multiple names for the same value or let's say I don't want to write India in four different ways. Instead, I just want to do one thing is I just want to pass India in one way Whatever is the other forms, I want my chatbot to understand automatically and to collect or to extract the information based on that. So that is all that I will be doing right over here. And based on that, I can uh, store the data or let's say I can pass the data to the user. And also this time we don't have to pass the data in this format. Can you see like over here in these two intents, we have passed the entities. One is account and the second one is let's say account number, right? So this is what we have. And in here, whatever account you have, I think you have to pass all of them. You have an option. If you have the common name for that, then we have used synonyms for that. If you have some pattern for that, in that case, we can use the pattern. So in that case, we can use the regex function. But right now I have some names. For example, the names can be of any user. Let's say we human beings also have a name. So uh, we can have that name also. Similarly, a country, a country is also have a name and that is some unique name, right? So in that case, what I have to do is I have to provide the names of the user and that is not possible for me to apply the regex function for that. So definitely regex function will fail and also synonym is a far different way, right? So that is what uh, the thing is. And that's the reason now we are going for the lookup table. Now let's start applying it and uh, let's add the question for it. So as we said, after asking you for the account number, your bot will ask you, where are you from? Or let's say from which nation you are, right? So that's what uh, your bot will ask you. So for that, I have to add a question over here. And for that, I already have some questions with me. So let's do one thing. Let me copy the question directly, right? So let me add it over here. All right. So I have added it. And now based on that, what next I have to do is like, I have the question, like uh, your bot will ask you, what's your nationality, right? So where are you from? So in this way you can write it. Now, after that, you have to reply to it. And for that, what I can do, I can simply pass it like 
this i will simply pass it over here right so with this what happens is like i have only a sign that i belongs to india let's say i am from india i am from india uh, so sorry i think i repeated this thing uh, let's remove this one okay i am from india india is my country my nationality is india so in this way uh, i have just passed the values and almost what i have done i have only passed the single data but i want my bot to extract the information for rest of the countries as well so in that case what should i do i have two options either i add all the data in such a way like i have added for india or i just use the lookup table because with the lookup table you only have to provide the names of the country nothing else so that's it that's all that you have to do so now let me do one thing let me uh add the lookup table over here right so let me add the lookup table currently just for the understanding purpose i have added few country names so that i can pass these country names and accordingly my chatbot will be able to collect that data my chatbot will be able to extract that information right so over here i am using nation so nation is the entity name so this is the entity name similarly this is the value for it and uh, my nation is the intent for that so let's do one thing let's register all of them inside the domain and go over here similarly do it for entity as well so this is the entity similarly now we have added the lookup table so this is the lookup table or let's say this is the name of the entity for which we are providing the lookup table so that we can get any of the values from the different countries so that's what we have done now after that okay so that's all that we have done and we have applied a lookup table now the next thing is that we have to add a story for it right so i already have the story for it so in that case just go to stories and when i have to ask this question i have to ask this question after i have provided the information for my account number so when i have provided the account number my next question should come like this that it should ask me a question where are you from or what's your nationality and based on that i will be providing the information as i am from india i am from uh, america i am from canada so there are different countries so i will be providing in such a way and when i will provide this i will have some entity i have some entity extracted so after having the entity only i will be going to the next reply and what's the next reply that next reply is uh, this one your credit account balance is 1 lakh indian rupees so that's what we have done so with this i have done everything i have added the story i have added the data to the domain i have added the data to the nlu i have added the lookup table for the country now let's train the model and let's understand that whether we are uh, getting the values extracted or no right so let's do it so now let's run it i'm training the bot and it will run in the rasa x so let's wait for it to finish now all right so the model is trained and now we can talk to the bot so now just wait for a while i think it's uh, updating the model right so just wait for it to finish and then we can uh, talk to the bot all right so now you can see the latest model is not active so let me just do one thing let me make it active so over here you have an option make model active just click on this so it will make your model active now you can go to the talk to your bot and you can have a conversation with your chat bot so let's say hi all right hey how may i assist you let's say i want to know my credit card account balance right now press enter now you can see the entity has been extracted and the name is uh, credit over here so what's your account number so let me pass it okay so account number is this and this has been extracted now what's your nationality let's say 
I am from India, right? So right now India was there. So based on that, definitely you will get an output. So you can see you have got a reply and your value has been extracted. Now, as you can see over here for these examples, what I have done, I have only passed India. Now let me do one thing. Let me try with some different country name and let's see whether it will be able to extract it or no. So let's clear this and let's start the conversation again. Let's say, hi. So I want to know my credit balance. Okay, what's your account number? So let me pass it. Okay, so now what's your nationality? So now I will say like I'm from America, for example, let's say I'm from America. Can you see my nation, nation and the value is America. From here, the value is extracted just because we have already provided the country names inside the lookup table and from the lookup table, it will be able to collect those values and to further extract that. So that is the reason we are able to extract the information. Now let me uh, try it again. And let's try this time with uh, one another value. And this time I will do it very quickly. So I will not uh, take much time, right? And one more thing is there, like you can see, I have written Sri Lanka where S and L is capital. And right now I can provide it in the lowercase value as well. So that doesn't matter that how you're going to pass it, but you have to pass the value and it will be able to extract it. So this is the benefit of using the lookup table. Now, can you see, I have passed Sri Lanka and from here it is able to extract Sri Lanka as well. So in this way, you can see how you can abuse the lookup table and how easily you can use it. And also you have seen in the model that uh, you only have to provide the values over here. Over here for your intent, you only have to pass some examples and one entity, at least one entity. After that, you can do any one of it or you can say uh, you can add any number of values over here, but at least one you have to pass and based on that, you can pass the values inside the lookup table so that you don't have to pass examples for every one of it, right? So in this way, we can use the lookup table. And now I hope everything is clear to you. And if you still have any doubts regarding the lookup table, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. And also, if you have liked this video, do click on the like button. And if you are new to our channel, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel. So that is it from my side. Till then, bye-bye and happy learning.